Welcome to Heredity 3, Sex-Linked Inheritance. Uh, notice right away that we have X and Y chromosomes being represented here in our uh, symbols for our alleles. The reason being that sex-linked traits are linked to the sex chromosomes. Most of them are, the vast majority are linked to the X chromosome, and you'll call those X-linked traits specifically. Uh, but there are some Y-linked traits. But notice that the Y chromosome over here doesn't have anything attached to it, right? It's just a Y chromosome. It determines, uh, it has a, a sex-determining region on it that turns the organism into a male when we're talking about uh, mammals in any case. And if you don't have a Y, you develop down the female path, uh, genetically, of course. So uh, this particular uh, trait or disorder, hemophilia, is linked to the X chromosome. Uh, and you may have thought of hemophilia and color blindness, for that matter, being uh, more common in males, which is true. But you might say, well, why do males get it more often if they, Y doesn't even hold that chromosome, right, or hold that, that trait? Well, the reason being that you only need, if you look down here, you only need one copy of the allele, if you're a male, to get the disorder. Females with one copy doesn't hurt them because they've got a, another copy of the normal uh, allele running cover for them. So let's just go through with the cross here and we'll see what's up. Okay, now notice these things that code for whatever, right? So X, uh, H, again, a compound symbol. Uh, codes for normally clotting blood, X, lowercase h, codes for hemophilia, and Y doesn't code, have anything to do with the blood, it just turns you into a male. And this particular cross, the mother, the female, is a heterozygous uh, or carrier individual. She doesn't exhibit hemophilia because she's X big H and X little h, with the big H being dominant, masking the little h. The male has normal blood. Uh, the offspring, all you do is just run these across, right? So X big H, X big H, well, there it is. Uh, y, X little h, there it is. Right, just do the cross like normal. And what you end up with here is a genotypic ratio of, strange for me to write, one to one to one to one. But you've got one X big, X big, one X big, X little, one X big Y, one X little y. So those are four different genotypes, therefore you've got one to one to one to one genotypic ratio or 25% each or whatever you want to say it. When it comes down to the phenotypic ratio, it is uh, two female normal, I just abbreviated, right? Two females that have normal blood because they, they both have at least one big H covering the little H in this case. One male with normal blood, this guy, and one male with hemophilia, this guy down here, right? So, sucks to be him, uh, but it's easily treatable these days, it's not that bad. All right, let's go to the blank screen where we'll do, oops, oops I gotta get rid of this thing again. Let's go to the blank screen where we'll do another cross. This time we'll do, we'll do a real human uh, trait. Colorblind is it that's supposed to say. And colorblindness is another X-linked recessive trait. So let's give you a thought, I'm gonna give you a thought experiment here. We'll say that little Johnny, a male, is colorblind. So what is little Johnny's genotype? Right, well first of all, it's a sign symbol, my bad. So X, um, let's go with uh, mm, colorblind, let's go with B again. So XB, is normal color vision, big B, I should say. X little b is a color blindness. So little Johnny's colorblind. What's little Johnny's uh, genotype? Is it X little b, X little b? Is it X big B, X little b? Is it X big B Y or is it X little B Y? Well, it's little Johnny. I said he's a male and said he's colorblind, so it has to be this one. That's the only um, genotype that little Johnny can be. So little Johnny's colorblind. 
Now let me give you, here's the thought experiment part. Little Johnny's dad is colorblind, but little Johnny's mom is not. So dad's colorblind, so we know his dad is x little b y. We know Johnny is x little b y. And we know his mother is not colorblind, so she has to have at least one big B. Who is to blame for little Johnny's colorblindness? Is it dad? Is it mom? Or could it be both? What's the answer? Think about it. The answer is unequivocally mom. It has to be the mom. Mom's to blame. Why is that? Why couldn't it be the dad? He's got a colorblind trait, right? Well, if his dad gave him a little b, he wouldn't be little Johnny, right? He wouldn't be a male anyways, anyway, genetically. So it has to be the mom, which means the mom has to have a little b there because she's the only one that can give the offspring, or a male offspring, the X chromosome that they have. And that's the way it is, way it goes. Let's show you the uh, cross here. So let's take the mother who was a big B, little b, and the father who was a little b. Why? Why not? And we'll do a Punnett square over here. And we'll put mom over here. We'll put dad over here. And we'll just fill them in like this. So there we have it. The genotypic, the expected genotypic ratio of this cross, and you can see looking at it just briefly that there's none of the same, right? You've got one X big B, X little B, one X little little, X little X little, one X big Y, and one X little Y. So you got four different genotypes. What about phenotypes? Well, this is a normal vision female. This is a colorblind female. This is a normal vision male. It's a colorblind male. So you'd have one to one to one to one, both genotypically and phenotypically. Expected, of course. These are all probabilities, right? You can have one kid, it's only gonna be one of these, it's not gonna be a quarter each. If you have four kids, you could get all four like this. It's just chance.